Welcome back, boys and girls. Today's printing lesson is printing lesson number 14, and we are going to learn how to correctly print the uppercase letters E and F. We are using foundations paper today since it has the pictures for the skyline, plain line, grass line, and worm line. But if you have regular handwriting or printing paper at home, that will work just fine as well. Okay, so we're gonna start with the vowel E. Okay, there's a lot of steps to writing the letter E. Step one, you have to point your pencil or your finger if you're practicing for the first time, right here at the top line or the skyline. Okay, so you point to the skyline, then you go down to the grass line. The third thing you do is you make a line on the skyline at the top, like this. Then you make a line on the plain line, and another line on the bottom or grass line. And there you have the uppercase letter E. E is a vowel, which means our mouth comes open when we make the sound. Your voice box is turned on, and it's a stretchy sound. Listen. Eh. E represents the first sound you hear at the beginning of the name Ed. Say E, Ed, Eh. You say that with me. E, Ed, Eh. Good. Let's do another one just a little bit faster. Again, you point to the top or the skyline if you're using foundation. Second thing you do is go down to the grass line. The third thing you do is make a line on the skyline. Sorry. The fourth thing you do is make a line on the middle plane line. And the fifth thing you do is make another line on the grass line. For E, Ed, E. Now this time, I want to hear you turn your voice on and make the sound, the short vowel sound for E, which is, you got it, eh. I want you to make that sound while I write the letter. Ready? Here we go. Eh. Okay, and there you have the uppercase letter E. E, Ed, Eh. Let's do our next letter, uppercase F, which looks a lot like E, doesn't it? F is a consonant, which means it's one of the letters that are not the vowels A, E, I, O, U. Okay, so if it's not a vowel, it is a consonant. Okay, when we make the consonant sound, we'll be using parts of our mouth to make the sound, which I'll show you in one minute. But first, Let's learn how to correctly form or print the letter F. Just like all the capital or uppercase letters, we point our pencil to the skyline at the top. Then you're going to go down to the grass line. After that, you make a line at the top skyline again, and then another line on the plain line. F represents the sound like you hear at the beginning of the word fun. F fun. Say that with me. F fun. Excellent. Your voice box is turned off. Your top teeth are placed on your bottom lip like you're biting it, but not hard. And it's a stretchy sound. Great. Make another one just a little bit quicker. So we point to the top or the skyline, go down to the grass line, come back up and make a line at the top skyline, then make another line on the middle or the plain line, and there you have F, fun, excellent. Let's see if you can stretch out the sound the whole time while I make my last letter F. Ready? 
top teeth on bottom lip and go. Very nice. So today we learned how to correctly print the uppercase letters E, E, Ed, Ed. Say that with me. E, Ed, Ed. Good. And the uppercase or capital letter F. F, fun, f, your turn. Very good, boys and girls. Thank you for following along. I hope you learned something new. Give yourselves a round of applause.